Hi, I'm Brianne. I'm the nurse at the Rejuvenation Place, and we've had a lot of requests to do kind of an informational video on the difference between Botox and fillers, um, and kind of maybe just a little bit something uh, for the men in your lives that you need to kind of tell them a little bit about it and how um, we're not going to be developing any Joan Rivers here today. So I just um, have Casey as my lovely model, and we're just going to kind of talk about different things. Um, different places you can use the product and what it does for you. So Botox and dermal fillers are both used to treat and prevent wrinkles and the signs of aging. Um, but sometimes I get a lot of clients calling in and say, I want to have Botox um, in my lips. And so here's where they kind of differ and you need to kind of decide where do we place this um, because we don't want you coming out looking um, like Picasso's last painting. <laughs> So we're going to dive into um, what Botox does and how we use it and where we place it. Uh, with Botox, um, it is something that's used to relax the muscle, prevent contraction. That's going to stop us from developing the wrinkles in certain areas. So um, some of the common areas that women or men will have this placed um, is in the forehead. So if she raises her, oh, yep, raise your brows, you can see the little bit of wrinkling that's going in there. So over time, we develop what is called a static wrinkle, and that is going to be there kind of a wrinkle that's going to always be there without expression. Okay, another really common area that we treat is right between the brows. So if she scowls for me, you're going to see these vertical lines here. Um, and then that's, you know, it looks like an 11 and that's usually what people say I need to take care or uh, treat my 11s. Um, and then around the eyes, uh, your crow's feet, and Casey really doesn't have any, but that's a really good point to bring up. And I am seeing more and more younger women um, in their early 20s, mid 20s that are coming in and they're doing this for preventative measures, which is a really good thing because as we continue to make these expressions, that's called the dynamic wrinkle. It comes when you smile or make expression. Um, but the static wrinkle is what we're trying to prevent, and that's one that's now you've done that expression so many times you've developed a wrinkle in that area, and now we have to come up with something else to treat that. I'm pretty conservative with my injections. I feel like it's okay to come in later and add more because sometimes you can't take it away. Um, all the time it's pretty hard to take it away so I like to assess the client's face and then ask them like are you looking for a frozen look do you want absolutely no movement or do you want to have some movement there and I feel the movement is important because it's natural we should have some movement um, but people who like to have that frozen look that's okay too it's really just the preference of my client um, so you know some of the worries are am I gonna be too frozen is my brow gonna drop well those are good concerns to have. There are risks to anything we do, but if you have an injector who knows her anatomy and knows where you need to inject and how the muscle movements are working to develop that muscle, um, and you're not gonna run into those issues. Okay, so now that we've talked about Botox, we'll kind of move on to what fillers do. Um, and the way, a good way to think about this is that fillers fill. So they're gonna fill volume loss. They're going to help augment areas that, you know, I guess the best way to say would be like in the lip area if you're wanting to do an augmentation of your lips or um, some people who have like a recessed chin um, they can also augment that a little bit um, but the biggest thing that I see people for would be their lips and their cheeks um, as we age we start to lose volume in our face everything starts to go south everything and so um, that's where we start to see you know this the smile lines here as the fat pads are starting to press down and develop a fold in here. Um, so what this dermal filler is going to do is help kind of give support underneath and then help to reshape or restructure areas. So, you know, as the cosmetic industry is becoming so popular, more and more people are looking for Botox or fillers to help uh, slow down uh, the aging process. I think um, it's really important with social media and what's out there, these celebrities that are overdone, people, that's what they instantly think of. They're like, I do not want to look like that. Um, but we have to remember that these celebrities um, are probably looking to achieve a result like that. And I'm looking to achieve the result that you're desiring. So if it's conservative, if it's minimal, minimal um, subtle look, I will give that to you. We will, you know, slowly build if you're wanting to go bigger because it's important to me not to just pump your face full of Botox or fillers, but to build slowly to achieve that result because it's going to look so much more natural. 
So if you're looking to have something done or you have a little bit of a fear and you just want to see what it's all about, you can always schedule a consultation with me and my medical director and we will um, do an assessment, ask you what you're looking for um, and kind of develop a plan for you. And you can bring your husbands too because this, or boyfriends, because this is not just for women.